Whether you're a brand new trader, experienced trader, it doesn't really matter. Basically what I'm about to be sharing with you guys is just my story on how I went from over $150,000 in debt to making over $90,000 on option trading. Honestly, when I first started trading, I had no idea what I was doing. I had never traded in my life, but I graduated with an accounting and finance degree. So I had a pretty good idea about taxes, accounting, and even investing. But most of the learning that I got was from, honestly from reading books. Two of the most common books out there that a lot of people know of, Security Analysis and The Intelligent Investor. So let's talk about a little bit about option trading. How did I even get involved with option trading? Well, let's go all the way back to March of 2020. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. <coughs> So if you guys all recall, back in March of 2020, the stock market tumbled. I would see the stock market almost every single day, right? I would just watch it. I had about $40,000 saved at the time. Although it was not invested, I would think about investing it every day, but I just wouldn't do it. I was honestly just, I was scared. Regardless, you know, I was watching the stock market. I would see what was going on. And when March 2020 happened, I was like, holy smokes. It went down 10%, 20%. 30%. I don't recall exactly how low it went, but it was pretty crazy. But at the time I was like, okay, I only have $40,000. Like how much money can I really make with that? So I ended up not doing it, right? I'm like, how can I make more? How can I make more? Like $40,000 is not enough. Luckily, as you guys have mentioned in my prior videos, I knew a little bit about credit hacking. So I was like, okay, how can I get more money and just put it back in the stock market? Basically what I did is I maxed out all my credit cards. So before actually maxing them out, I increased limits on all my cards. After I increased the limit, I started applying for different credit cards from whether it be personal, business cards, etc. At the time, I was already doing Amazon FBA and drop shipping, so I kind of had a way of liquidating all the cards and be able to pull the money out. I actually ended up getting myself in somewhere around a quarter million dollars in debt. It sounds pretty crazy, but I was like, hey, what's the worst that can happen? So I ended up having, I don't really recall the exact number, but I know for sure over six figures liquid and I, and I just, I was like, I'm just gonna throw this stock market you know if i go up 50 percent, 75 percent, if i double my money i just made a hundred thousand dollars well guess what it just was not good enough for me i'm like how can i take it to another level like what else can i do i was going to just put my money into the stock market and just kind of let it sit there but then I ran into option trading. I recalled it back in college. I knew how it worked from a very simple standpoint, but I never had actually done it. So at the time, that's when I met one of my friends. His name is Gus. He has an option trading platform. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna start trading. I'm like, why not, right? It was one of the best decisions I ever made, but at the same time, <laughs> It was probably one of the worst ones. I actually got pretty good really quick. There was times where, no exaggeration, I was up over $90,000 on a single trade. I will say this though, we were in a bull market. Everybody was making money. Some of you guys might recall this, but there was a point in 2021, I believe, where Microsoft was trying to buy TikTok. You guys have probably heard the saying, buy the news, sell the rumor. Well, as soon as a little bit of that started coming out, I bought somewhere around thirty dollars to $60,000 worth of options for Microsoft, and if you guys know anything about options, you know, options can expire and literally you will lose the money. So I bought these options and yeah, sure enough, it doubled, tripled, and I was up easily over 90,000. I still recall to this day, I can envision it. It was crazy. And guess what? I didn't sell. I still <laughs> didn't sell. I tend to be a little bit greedy only because I wanna make, you know, a lot of money and be able to do whatever I want, help my family, etc. But being too greedy sometimes comes with a cost. Even besides that one trade, I had multiple months where I literally made over $100,000 trading through options. It was it was crazy. At the same time though, there was a lot of moments where I was losing $5,000, $10,000. I believe I probably made somewhere around $20,000 overall over the span of a year. If you get really good at it and you can actually control your emotions, you can actually make pretty good money. Since then, obviously I've gone on to build out my Amazon an automation company, which is a distribution, logistics, warehousing company. Since then, in order to be able to build that, I've become a better person, I would say, right? My emotional regulation is a lot better. My EQ is a lot better. EQ is, I would say, is probably one of the most important things in business because you will notice that as things get tough or even get good, you can make a lot of irrational decisions. If you're making irrational decisions, you could potentially put your company in a really bad position. I've also done, you know, taken a lot of courses. I have therapists. I've taken transformational trainings. Honestly, there's a lot of things that I've taken and each of them has helped many different ways. I'll probably even create a video about all the stuff I've ever learned that I think has helped me get to where I really am because trading in the stock market, whether it be stocks, whether it's options, it's not just about making money. 
you have to really develop your emotional mindset, your emotional skill sets, your emotional EQ, which will then make you a better person overall. My name is Jaime Behar. Thank you guys again for tuning into my channel. If you like my videos, please don't forget to like. I will be posting videos every single week. And if you're ever interested in investing with me, please click the link below. I'll give you all the information you need to know about it, partnering up with us. Thank you guys. See you later.